welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be sharing the best way to clean all kind of viruses and malware from your windows 10 and windows 11. now there comes a time that when you feel that you have a lot of junk lots of viruses on your computer or probably you're not feeling comfortable and you feel that you have some suspicious thing on your computer so what exactly you have to do that what i will be explaining and how you can remove all such kind of junk totally from your computer so make sure that you do not skip any part apply all the method carefully without skipping any part so first what you will have to do you will be getting two different website link in the description first one will be for the malware byte which is a very powerful tool and i always recommend to remove any kind of viruses and malware using this kind of tool and the next one will be the hitman pro and we will be using the free version so you don't have to pay anything here so once you come on this website you have to click on free download and the downloading will be started now you don't have to run this file we only need to download it so once you have downloaded the malware byte go to the hitman website and here you can click on free 30 day trial now this will ask you some basic information so you can go ahead and fill it it won't take much time once you are done you have to click on submit choose the computer architecture so i will go with 64 bit i will download it now again it may ask you for some information so you can quickly fill it it won't take much time then click on submit and now you will be getting the download link so click on it the downloading will be now started all right so once we have downloaded both of them so what we will have to do now minimize everything click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key now this will display all kind of your network connections network adapter so through which ever you are connected you need to disable your internet i'm connected with the ethernet so i will right click and choose disable so we need to go offline now so that a new kind of infection or malware cannot come on our computer okay so once you have disabled minimize it now next right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion click on settings from the left in menu option click on privacy and security then click on windows security on the top and then click on virus and threat protection the security box will be up now here click on scan options then choose microsoft defender antivirus offline scan click on scan now and then click on scan click on yes now it will be asking you to sign out so you have to click on close the computer will now be restarting and it will be scanning with the microsoft defender offline scanner so you will have to wait here until it's all been scanned so that it can help you to find out all kind of problems and then finally you will come to this kind of page where it says your pc is being scanned so just wait until all the procedure has been completed so now the scan has been completed the computer has been restarted so now next you have to enable the network connection so again click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key now look for your internet adapter right click on it and choose enable once it's been enabled close it now we have to run the anti-malware byte and the hitman pro that we downloaded so go to the download section make a double click on mbsetup.exe that is for malware byte just make a double click click on yes the installation wizard will be up click on install click on personal next skip this for now and the installation will now be started meanwhile you can minimize it now click on hitman pro click on yes click on next choose the second option no i only want to perform a one-time scan click on next and the scanning will now be started all right so now here you have to keep some patience until this is scan and then you also need to scan the malware byte all right so this will be detecting all kind of trojan all kind of infections that is on your computer so let's wait here until it's all been completed and then i will explain what you have to do next okay so the hitman pro scan has been completed and it says no threat found so that's a good news for me but let me tell you that this is a new machine and there is no data on it nothing has been done much and that is the reason it's safe but i'm very sure once you will run it on your computer 
it will detect a lot of trojan and infection then what you will have to do simply click on next click next and everything will be deleted from your computer all right so once this scan is completed and then look at the malware byte scan and if it says threat detected zero so similarly it did not found any kind of a uh, virus or infection as i said it's a new machine but if you find it then you will have to follow the steps click on next then click on save and then click on done now it's all up to you if you want to uninstall this malware byte and the hitman pro you can uninstall it but if you want to keep it it's all up to you okay now next what we have to do click on your windows search type disk then from the suggestion click on disk cleanup click on ok now here you have to check all these boxes recycle bin if you don't need the deleted item you can check it and if you want it then you can uncheck it temporary file uh, you can check it thumbnail you can check it uh, if you get the download option and if you don't want that downloaded item should be deleted then you can uncheck it so once you have selected click on cleanup system file click on ok again here check all these boxes and then click on ok click on delete file and this will take some time depending how much data you have to be deleted and once it's been done right click on the windows icon click on run type here temp hit the enter key now delete all these files because these are the temporary file that you don't need so press ctrl a to select all then make a right click on it and choose delete check the box click on skip close it again right click on the windows icon click on run type percent temp percent again then click on ok again press ctrl a to select all right click and choose delete click continue check the box click on skip and next click on your windows search type app wiz.cpl hit the enter key now this will list you all kind of application program installed on your computer so you need to look for any application that you don't identify you don't use it you will have to uninstall because the possibilities are that some kind of malware some kind of suspicious tool has been installed on your computer so anything related to toolbar any application any program that you don't identify go ahead and uninstall it and as i said if you want to uninstall the malware by it then you can also uninstall it if you want to keep it it's all up to you okay so once you are all done finally we are remaining with the last step where you also need to check any kind of faulty or suspicious extension so depending which browser you are using so let's say if you are using google chrome then bring it up then click on the three dot at the right and top on the suggestion click on extensions then click on manage extensions i don't have any extension right now but you will be getting the list of all the extension installed on your google chrome browser so whichever you don't identify you don't use it or you're not feeling comfortable kindly go ahead and delete it okay so once you have applied all these solutions finally restart your computer and now successfully you have removed all kind of malware and infection viruses from your windows 10 or windows 11 so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye-bye.